Alright, and then I went on Wednesday, I believe. Or maybe it was Thursday. It was either Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember. It was, I think it was Thursday. Or, um, yeah, it was Thursday. <laughs> it's hard to remember. Um, sometimes you go and sometimes you don't get something. Sometimes you do. But anyway, went on uh, Thursday. And uh, this was three bucks. A uh, really, really good deal for this. These go for about 20 online if you sell it to the right person. And that is another Miss Pac-Man plug and play, uh, which is really cool. I mean, I've been finding these a lot recently, which is insane. I don't know what's the deal, uh, but it's always the Miss Pac-Man one. It's a common thing all of a sudden. Like, for some reason, it just appears out of nowhere, and there's so many of them. But uh, I cannot complain at three bucks. That's a really good deal. And it does work. It's very good condition, so that's cool. All right, and then Friday. This is the Friday piece. Uh, this was marked at a dollar and it was half off because it was a blue sticker. That's how they do it. They sometimes have just random colors each day that are, uh, they're different colored stickers. I've mentioned that before, I think. Um, but their different colored stickers are sometimes half off depending on the day. And uh, this was marked at 99 cents. I got for 53 cents, um, which is really cool. And that is a Sega Genesis Model 1 RF switch. Um, basically, it's, you know, the same exact thing as the NES RF switch. So I didn't have a first model Sega Genesis, so I just hooked this into my NES and it works the same way. So. Um, very cool. Um, I could not complain for 53 cents for an RF switch for the Sega, so that's really cool. All right, now we have all of the flea market stuff, guys, and I am looking at it, and the video is probably already 20 some minutes in, and um, we've just barely hit the uh, tip of the iceberg here, and we've got a lot of stuff, guys. Um, so let's get into it. All right, first thing, um, we got to our Denver. Our local Denver flea market that we went to, we go there all the time, uh, you know, during the summer. We try to go once a month at least, so it's, I guess, not all the time, but you get the idea. Um, but we try to go once a month at least during the summertime, and this was our first trip this year, and it turned out so successful. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I feel this was more successful, this one trip, than all of our trips combined last year. And I'm not exaggerating that at all. So, we'll get into this. You guys will see as we go in. Um, so, anyways... Uh, Tyler and I went to our first, you know, we were looking around. It's usually dead our first, you know, time around because everyone's still setting up and everything. So there's not a whole lot to expect at the first round. We try to go two or three times around each time just because there's new people that set up and everything like that. So anyway, we went to the first guy uh, that we actually bought something from. He actually had a few cool things. Um, there were some people that had some stuff, but it wasn't really anything we were interested in. I mean, there was a couple, like, you know, Maddens and stuff. I mean, that's not really exciting from a flea market. Plus, if they're, like, five bucks each, they've been sitting in the sun for the last two years, and they cook white. I mean, that just doesn't look good. So, no reason to buy those, right? Um, so, anyways, the first guy that we legitimately bought something from, we bought three things. Tyler will show the two things that he found, and I'll show the one thing I found. First thing here, not video game related. Again, I know, I apologize. It's not exciting, but we have a Texas Instruments TI-83 plus calculator, graphing calculator here. These are great to buy and sell, guys, especially around um, school time when it starts up in the fall or whatever. These are very, very expensive in the store. These are like 80, 90 bucks. Um, I, I know personally I had to buy one brand new uh, from Walmart for my college class a couple years ago. And uh, these are not cheap calculators, guys. These are very expensive. Um, so I could probably, around fall, uh, when classes start picking up again, I could probably get 50, 60 bucks for this. Because it is used, of course, but if someone really needs it for their class, they will buy it. Um, so I might just put it right on Craigslist or something because um, I live around like three different college campuses. So it's not like it's, you know, not going to sell. I think it'd sell pretty quick. So, um, so we paid uh, $10 for that, which is not bad at all. Um, it works. It didn't have any batteries, but I took the batteries out of mine that I have and uh, tested it, and it works great. So that's very cool. So I'm not complaining at 10 bucks for a really expensive calculator. So very cool. And then Tyler will go ahead and show the two things that he picked out. Um, I didn't see him right away. I probably would have eventually might have scoped him out, but he found them because he was looking at one table while I was looking at the other, and he found these two things, which is really cool. Okay, so this first one here was actually uh, it was stacked uh, under a couple books, I think, and like some other things. I had to like kind of like dig it out, which is unfortunate. Kind of crushed it a little bit. Yeah, but, but it's still there. Uh, and this is uh, the Secret of Evermore Super Nintendo box. Uh, it doesn't have the game, but it has uh, the manual, the poster, the map, everything. The map. It has yeah. everything in it. Um, it doesn't have the cartridge, uh, um, cardboard tray, um, or the plastic sleeve that you know the cartridge would have. But it's it's got the original plastic on it still. It's got the hang tab. Um, it's a little crushed, yeah. but I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I'm really stoked to see a RPG-based game uh, box 
you know, in the wild like that. I mean, it was, it does baffle me why the cartridge wasn't in there. Um, but still, it's really cool to see a cartridge box like that. Um, and we'll go ahead and explain what we paid for that after Tyler shows this one. And this is a, a complete box Bubsy for Sega Genesis. Which is really, really cool. Um, it's, Try to yeah, show it'll, the card. Yeah, the cartridge, it worked really nicely. It's uh, really clean. Um, the people that had it, you know, a long time ago, that first had it, they wrote all their, like, um, cheat codes and stuff on the um, box on the inside. They wrote, like, they had an old Wendy's napkin in there that had a cheat code on it. Um, the, some of the pamphlets had some cheat codes written on it. It has all the manuals and posters and or, uh, pamphlets and stuff in it, so it's 100% it's complete. So um, we ended up paying 15 for the two of those, so 750 a piece, if you will, um, which I cannot complain. For a Secret of Evermore box, that's incredible. Um, a complete in box goes for, like, what, 70, 80 bucks at least, I think? Right, yeah, yeah it was something like that. It's a really cool piece to have. Um, you know, especially if I find a cartridge, you know, I could put it right in there, so that's really cool. I was really... Really excited that Tyler found that. It was really cool to find. So, and then that Bubsy completing the box. You don't see a whole lot of completing box games anymore like that. So, very very cool. All right, then let's see. I think this was first before this stuff. It doesn't really matter how we show it, but I kind of wanted to keep track of it in my mind just because I can kind of remember more if what I paid for everything, so I can remember it better. All right. Anyway, we were digging through this one guy's you know stuff. We went you know we were looking around for a little while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we were looking around for a little while, and um, we came across another guy. He had a lot of stuff. I mean, he had like, um, you know, those soda crates. Um, they're kind of like those plastic soda crates. He had like, you know, seven of those full of like games and stuff. Maybe not seven, but maybe like five of them. And there was just a bunch of games. Unfortunately, a lot of them were sun cooked and stuff because you know they sit there weekend after weekend. Uh, no one buys them because you know after a while people don't buy them because for one they were too pricey to begin with, and two after a while they get really faded and they don't look good. And so people definitely don't want to buy them. So anyway, this guy had a bunch of like cords and stuff laying out on this table. This whole table is like full of just like you know power bricks and stuff for all kinds of different like you know phones, cameras, um, radios, you name it. There was everything. Anyway, we looked, we looked through his games. Uh, I found one sports title here, and it was, since it was a sports title, it was a little bit cheaper. Still ended up being four bucks, um, unfortunately, but it's not that bad because um, it's still a title that is pretty obscure, I guess, or more popular, if you will. Um, but it's for GameCube, which is really cool, and that is NHL Hits 2003. Um, this was in a really, really disgusting uh, GameStop case. You know, those really cheesy um, plastic ones that look like they were made with, like, two pennies. You know, that's about how much it cost to make it. Well, anyways, it was in that. The whole plastic was, like, you know, crusted off and it was peeling on both sides. And it baffles me because this game is 100% complete. That case was about to fall apart and it still held that manual and the disc and the insert and everything together. Um, the disc looks almost brand new. The manual's really nice. It didn't have an ins... Uh, um, what do they call it? The... Um, Precautions. Yeah, the precautions booklet, um, but I have like a stack of those, so I can just throw one of those in here. Um, but I did have a few empty uh, official GameCube cases, so I did stack that in here. The only thing that I am going to be disappointed about is that I don't have one that has the uh, NHL seal of quality sticker on it, but it doesn't matter. I might have to upgrade this anyway, because it does have some sun fading um, to the side of it, but um, it's not like it's too bad, so whatever. So that's still cool uh, for 4 bucks. And then Tyler found a Wii game. Uh, that I didn't really see at first, and uh, that one was uh, four bucks as well, right? Or was it three? I think. I think it was four or three bucks. It was. I think. I don't know. I think. No. I, I think, think. Yeah. I think. Um, it was four and three. Yeah. So I think it was seven bucks for the two games. Yeah. Whatever. It was a good deal anyway. You can't complain. And uh, it's one the one we title. It's a great game. So. And that is Crash Mind Over Mutant. And uh, it's really cool. That's a really good game. Um, it's complete. It looks really nice. The disc is a little scratched up, but it looks fine. So nothing to worry about there. And then these two things, um, I think he thought it was one bundled cord. Um, so he said four bucks, but I'm just going to refer it to as two bucks each. Um, I think he thought it was just one piece, but I don't really care. But uh, anyways, two bucks a piece. We're, we got one thing here. Um, that is an official Xbox breakaway cable there. These are really hard to find for some reason. Every controller I come across never has it attached to it, so it's kind of sucky, but anyways, I finally found one. It's a, it's a Halo Green one, I guess, if you want to call it Halo Green. It's a, It's got that green tint to it, so that's cool. So there's that. And then I got an official Super Nintendo 64 or GameCube AV cable here. So, very cool. Four bucks for those two cords. Two bucks each. Cannot complain. Very cool. 
All right, now we can get into these games. Now we found, or I guess I'll show the controllers first. We've got some controllers here. Now that I mentioned it, I gotta say what it is. Um, <laughs> anyways, we got some controllers here, and um, we were looking first. Uh, this guy had like two stalls right next to each other, so it's I guess the same guy. So we made two purchases from him, if that makes any sense. Um, so I bought these controllers, and then I went down a little bit, and I saw his other table and he had games. So, anyways, you'll get in, we'll get into it. First here, what I saw um, was really cool. Um, these were three dollars each, guys, and I didn't even pay that much. So I'll explain it. Um, for what we got here at first is a um, official Nintendo brand Super Nintendo controller. Um, very, very cool, uh, clean controller. It's nice shape. Uh, I mean, there's no gouges. I mean, it, of course it was dirty, but I cleaned it up. Um, this was, it was odd. The uh, controller on the inside was detached from the motherboard. So I had to open it up and reattach it because it, when I tested it, it didn't work. But I knew it was odd because the controller was coming out more than it should have out of the uh, end. Um, so I opened it up and I plug it back in and it works 100%. Um, it's a very clean controller, so I was really happy for that. So there's that. And then we've got three official Sega Genesis controllers here. Um, all in very good shape. Um, nothing really wrong with them. There's no rips in the cords or anything. Um, the buttons all work. I tested it with Bubsy, as a matter of fact. So there's that. So very cool. So there's three of those in the Super Nintendo controller. I added up to 12 bucks. I asked, would you take 10 for it to him? And he said, sure, that's fine. So four controllers for 10 bucks. That's 250 each, guys. That's incredible. Um, and they all four work. So that's even cooler. Um, so that was very exciting. All right. And then we went down, like I said, a little bit later, like a little bit, you know, a few feet more, and there was another table. And he had like a couple of Xboxes stacked there and like a PS2 or whatever. I didn't want to bother with the consoles because they didn't have everything. I just didn't really want to worry about it. But anyways, we found another controller and a bunch of PS2 and PS1 games. I'll go ahead and show these games real quick. We kind of just uh, split them up based on who saw what. Tyler saw some games. I saw some games. I'll show what I saw, and then he'll show what he found, like he picked out. So um, these, again, all the games were $3 each, which all these are great titles. So here we go. First one here, Black Label, complete copy of Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, already, that's a great deal for 3 bucks. Um, again, it's really nice that it hardly opens, like in some points, you know, those con those cases that don't open all the way down. Um, but it's got the manual, and the disc looks great, so there's that one. Very cool. And then, we've got a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, Greatest Hits, but that one is complete, and it does have the poster in there. Again, it's got kind of like that stiffness to it, so that's cool. Disc looks good. There's that one. And then this one I did not have yet. Um, it might need to be an upgrade in the future because it does have a stick uh, sticker on the center ring of the disc, which is a bummer because it was a previous rental. It usually bothers me um, just because it's, you know, I like to have the games as nice as I can, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So if I ever find a copy of this, I can always upgrade it. But for now, this is good. Um, but we got a Twisted Metal 3 uh, for PS1, black label. And uh, that one is, well, of course, you can see the manual from when you show it front hand. But it's got some cheats that someone wrote on an old receipt or something in there, and then there's the disc. Uh, and the disc looks really good, um, except for that rental sticker on the front of it. But uh, other than that, it's in really good shape, so that's really cool. I could not complain. Um, so that's pretty cool, especially for three bucks, guys. You can't complain for a uh, $3 Twisted Metal. I mean, it's not the most expensive Twisted Metal, but, I mean, it's still Twisted Metal, so that's cool.